lovely ladies. Your first challenge is to create swimwear made out of recycled, upcycled, or reusable material. We're only going to give you five days to create something that is not only wearable, but has fashion sense and, of course, great construction. Here we go. Good luck. Hi, Valerie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? And welcome to the challenge. Tell us a little bit what you're doing. Okay, so the tops are paper that I have, you know, receipts, schoolwork that I basically shredded and made my own paper out of. Um, it's dried and then ironed and then cut to fit, you know, the shape of a bikini top. And then these shoelaces are from old shoes and <laughs> what have you. And the bottoms I had a little bit of difficulty with because paper in a bikini bottom does not work. <laughs> um, so actually I used legging material, which were an old pair of leggings that were bleach stained, so I couldn't use them for anything else or donate them. And they have a tendency to get caught in the equipment if you just toss them out. So I figured, you know, reuse them for this purpose that I happen to have bleached leggings for. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's my... So you've worn this, you've actually put it on your body? Yeah, so it's a second wear, if you will, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. What inspired you to make this? So I went through a lot of trial and error, but the paper is something I've been making, you know, since 11th grade. So it's just kind of easy, not easy, but, you know, <laughs> familiar to me. So I knew I could make something out of it. Um, the bottoms were just, you know, I wanted something that would be comfortable to move in, but also not clash away from the top because that's, you know, my main inspiration is the top with the paper and the different writing and the colors and things like that and then the shoelaces i needed new shoes so i was like i'll just take the laces out of these so that's my inspiration that's yeah. interesting so how long did it take for you to make um this? about a week i started last sunday so i finished last night it's just the paper like i was saying in bikini bottoms doesn't work so a lot of trial and error with that but it wasn't horribly long <laughs> But yeah. I love okay. it. It's and awesome. just one more question, yeah. Valerie. The bottom is made out of what? It's a uh, yoga pants that were bleach stained. So just yoga pant material, yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, Sarah, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Um, I like what you got so far. What made you uh, develop this? Um, well, I was trying to figure out and, and just trying to get inspiration on like what to make because I've never made a swimsuit before and it was kind of difficult at first but I did have fun making it. Um, I was just walking in the store one day and I knew I needed things. I knew I needed to use recyclable materials. So I thought of, okay, how about I just use recycled straw hats? So I untied the straw hats and then basket weaved into the swimsuit. And then I just topped it off with pieces of palm trees. It's interesting. I'm wondering how long it took you to put this together. It took me a good 10 hours. Interesting. Um, because I work better under pressure and I feel like doing things under pressure just gives it a better outcome. Well, at least for me. Um, on the swimsuit, I used real palm trees. Um, I didn't know how exactly I wanted the palm trees to look on the swimsuit. So I just kind of like threw it on there and then it looked kind of nice. It looked nice when I put it on there. Do so. you mind if we touch it? Yeah, of course. Huh. So that's original material? Yes. Wow. Oh. The buttons, Jeez, I have the same amount of man. <laughs> All right, so what, what was it that mainly inspired you? Was it, you mentioned palm trees. Yes. Um, was that your main source of inspiration? Yes, because I was born and raised in Miami. So like everywhere you go, it's, there's palm trees. And I know that it's been raining a lot lately and I've been seeing a lot of palm trees on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, why not? Let's just throw a little bit of palm trees on the It's beautiful. Swimsuit. I love that. I love that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very nice. 
Thank you. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Thanks for coming in. Thank you so much. I'm good. Tell us about what you have here. It looks interesting. All right. So basically, I have a swimwear made out of completely sustainable and recyclable items. They are recycled. In fact, all those bottle caps have been taken from actual used cans. The trash bag is recycled as well. And the fringe is also made from a trash bag. And the print on the bottom is actually made from the wrapping of water bottle cases. So the reason I picked all these items is because the majority of the trash in the ocean is made from processed food wrapping. So for example, like, as you know, like in America, there is a lot of like processed food consumption due to the amount that it costs. And because of the low amount that some people in America make, it's very popular for these items to be purchased. These items are very detrimental to our environment and to the animals in the ocean along with anywhere on earth, on land, ocean, no matter what it is. A lot of these things people just throw away. They end up in landfills. They don't end up being reused because plastic, for example, which is what most of it is made of, is actually very difficult to repurpose. And most plastic can't be melted down because they have certain chemicals that prevent that from happening. So the reason I used all of this, I wanted to show a way that we can repurpose things without having to specifically like melt it down and remold it. There's a way that you can manipulate plastic. You can manipulate it with heat, but not to melt it down, but to remold it in a way that isn't completely rebuilding it. So a lot of the times with these items, what happens is they're thrown away in the ocean. People go to the beach, they have a bottle, they take off the wrapper, they leave it in the beach, it goes into the ocean. Animals are killed from it. There's several, several of tons of trash that are picked up in the ocean every day that are killing animals. Interesting, thank you. Beautiful. And you mentioned a lot of the straws. Um, you're, you're talking about a lot of these things. Were these more inspired by the ocean? For me, yes, because a lot of the environmental things that I'm very like big on involves the ocean so i think if you guys remember one of the biggest things that i love is like sharks and That's how right. they're endangered and everything like that so i'm very big on the ocean i love turtles like i love my boyfriend has a turtle <laughs> that's so awesome. beautiful can we touch yes can we touch this yes oh, beautiful wow. so plastic um, what is this Part. That's the wrapping of a water bottle case and the trash like. bag underneath. Oh. I did not want to use fabric or anything that you would use for regular clothing just because I feel like that wouldn't really serve the purpose of the assignment. If I use fabric, then I'm just making a regular garment. How did you make these stick together? Hot glue and um, nail glue. Look at that. That is phenomenal. And then the bottle tabs on the actual yarn is, I cut it and I basically chained it together. For the most part, I did secure it a little bit so that it wouldn't slide. Beautiful. Awesome, okay. thank you so much, Kat. Thank you thank so you. much. Hi Freya, how are you? Great, how are you? Very well, thank you. So tell me about your creation and what inspired it. Um, well, I really wanted to implement my art expression into it because I'm very passionate about painting. Um, I am also a avid thrifter, and I believe that if everyone would, instead of buying more clothes, which is, you know, what America wants, <laughs> profit and consumerism. But if we really geared more towards, you know, secondhand clothing, we would be able to, instead of, uh, I suppose, adding more stuff to our life, we could just share with each other. You know share, what I mean? Share, repurpose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the, the foundation of this bathing suit is I exchanged it. Um, and it is secondhand clothing. And then the 
um, top part is canvas paper. Um, so I used to work at a art supply store and unfortunately in Miami we don't recycle very much. So there's many of the canvas scraps and stuff like that just gonna be thrown away. So I decided, you know, this would be a great opportunity to use these canvas papers and stuff like that um, to create this look. How did you go about actually thinking like, this is what I'm gonna do? Was it a vision? Did it take you hours? Did it take you days? Um, it took me a couple hours and I immediately knew what I was gonna do when I heard sustainable bikini. I just, I don't know, it just popped in my head. <laughs> okay, uh, you're obviously an artist. I am. So you somehow blended the artwork and your vision into this swimsuit. Yep. Now I want to ask you one thing because I do see a beautiful painting on it. Would, is that, what was this spark for your inspiration to make this, this uh, swimwear? Well, you mean the, the actual painting itself or the entire? The original, like what was your main spark? Um, it was definitely just my, um, my I, I just needed to show my artistic art, uh, ability with painting. I just, that was really the spark that I wanted okay. to share. Because I see the woman, yes. I see I, uh, an emotion is evoked as I look at her. So, you know, there's, it, it kind of makes us want to know what She's what a major. prominent, you know, her face is, in my opinion, confident and she knows who she is. And I just, that resonates with me. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, how long did it take you? It took me about an hour and a half. Wow. 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 <laughs> Thank you very much, Freya. Thank you so much, Freya. Thanks very much.